OK, so where does Flight Deck actually say how many satellites it has? It says 3D fix. Oh, it says there, 14 sats. Right, so this is um, my 680, which I rebuilt eight months ago. I forgot that Ardu Pilot has the pitch axis inverted compared to everything else and flew it straight to the ground on its maiden. Uh, finally, eight months later, I rebuilt it again, re-rebuilt, and we'll give it another go. And this time I'm hopeful that I've got everything set correctly and that the pitch axis was the only thing that was preventing it from being a perfect quad. Well, that went better than last time. That was 10 minutes on a 4000 and we're down to 3.75 volts on the, uh, what's this called? Flight deck? Flight deck? I think it is. It's quite nice actually. Right, so what we'll do now is stick a new pack on as long as nothing is shaken loose and then we'll set up the auto-tune and we might even try and do all three axes at once because it's a perfectly still day it's misty but there's no wind whatsoever which is the first time in about six months up here in Scotland so we might even try and do all three axes on one four thousand okay we have auto-tune set up on a channel 7 switch we're going to do a loiter takeoff then enable auto-tune it's set to all three axes, the bit mask is seven. And we'll see if we can do it in 10 minutes, because as I said before, this is the perfect conditions with absolutely no wind whatsoever. And it's telling me that the hardware safety switch has not been set. So this is the position hold auto-tune where it does a weak loiter whilst auto-tuning. I have a video on this from about a year ago when it first came out. It's, uh, it's quite nice actually. It means you can just keep your finger on the, the switch to disable auto-tune in case something goes wrong. So it's done the roll axis, it's now doing the pitch axis. I'm actually getting messages on on flight deck about what it's doing, which is quite nice. Okay, it's onto yaw now. This frame does seem to have some sort of yaw wobble. I noticed when flying it. So it'll be interesting to see if auto-tune can make that any better. There we go, it's done. So leaving the... the if we leave the auto-tune switch active, we're now flying on the new kids. If we disable auto-tune, we go back to the old kids. Yours does seem better a little bit. There's a bit of that oscillation, isn't it? Complete. Motor is disarmed. 
Okay, so by landing with the auto-tune switch enabled, it will have saved the new PIDs. So, happy days.